one thing that's going down that uh, came out recently. Now, we've been talking about trailers. Well, Star Wars itself finally dropped the trailer for Skeleton Crew. So can we talk about Skeleton Crew? Sure. So they're calling Skeleton Crew kind of the Goonies in space, if you will. Goonies in space. Now, if you haven't heard about this before, they just, I've just showed it out in D23. Uh, the one person really a big, big name is Jude Law attached to this, playing an unknown Jedi. It's taking place um, in a galaxy far, far away, of course. Oh, 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 Garg's far, far away. Sorry, I just had to say it. But it's set in the New Republic era of Star Wars canon, and it takes place after Return of the Jedi. So right after Return of the Jedi, this, this goes down. These kids get lost in a galaxy far, far away and have to find their way home. John Watts directed this, who of course did Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, very involved with a lot of Spider-Man movies. Uh, and also on top of this, you just got like everybody on board for this. I, I saw the trailer popped out. I want to talk about it. People are saying it looks pretty good. Of course, after our last uh, after the last one, I'm like, everyone's kind of like Acolyte. People are like, can it be better than that? Let's watch the trailer together and find out. Is this better than Acolyte? Let's watch it. It's not going to be hard to be better than Acolyte. Spoiler. Amen to that. It starts in the middle of an action scene, like all the movies. Classic Star Wars. Let's set the course of your entire future. Classroom drama. Here we go. Don't you ever want to do anything exciting? Oh my god, there's streetlights and shit? Look at this. (laughs) What if we could go Right, where are we at? What is this? Houses and lawns? What are we doing? That's what you asked for, Sean. We're going to do taxes. This kid's got an iPad? Yeah, something I think it's buried in the woods. Uh, what do you think it is? I think it's a lost Jedi temple. Okay, well, Goonies action. You got the slides yeah. in there. Oh, yeah. Hello? Who's here? Be careful where you step. What I will eat. Really lost. It is dangerous out there in space. It's dangerous out there in space. Trust no one. Kind of a creepy reveal on Jude Law, not gonna lie. (laughs) Right. He's an enemy somehow. Like, like, uh, Stranger Wars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's pretty great. That's, pr- that's pretty great, yeah. Lexi. What's up? Stranger Wars. Yeah, Stranger Wars. Are I don't my- know what to take from that. That was that was a lot of different uh, uh, like genres kind of thrown in there. I definitely get the Super Eight. Definitely get the uh, Stranger Things kind of vibe there. Um, yeah. What the fuck is Jude Law doing? <laughs> he's smirking? he's being a he's he's, he's did okay. you say he's twerking? He's smirking. He's smirking. He's smirking. He's, he's, he's smirking. He's smirking. a sex robot, Sean. <laughs> but Sean, oh, do you think shit. this stands out? This ties in the AI universe, too? Is it sex oh robots? God. We don't have Ask sex robots. about the movie AI. Or, yeah. hey. Was that what it was called, right? Yep, it, was, it, 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 it was AI. Yeah. If that tied in, I'd be like, what? Well, this is uh, beyond that. This is beyond that. So no sex robots that I know of. But I would say this. Stranger Things in Space. What was his I think name? Was Joe. Better. His name was, was Joe, Joe. And by doing hey, this, he played a record in his brain. That was great. Yeah, that's great. Look, that's great. I, uh, yeah, I don't it know. looks fun, Sean. It looks it fun. Looks I think, fun. Too, right? It looks adventurey. I, I definitely get the Goonie vibes, like you said, Mike. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to take from this. Like, there's such a interesting push for uh, different stor- Star Wars stories right now. You got Star Wars Outlaw is coming out pretty soon here. A, a pretty decently sized, supposedly open world kind of bounty hunter-esque uh, Star Wars story. You can uh, commandeer a ship and a crew and all that kind of shit. Uh, yeah, there's that. The Acolyte was a mistake. Uh, and then you got this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. There, Yep. Maybe he's going to be in there, too. Throw him in Star Wars. <laughs> throw throw him in there, right? He's, he'll be saving yeah, the day. Dude right there. Hey, you guys! He's going to save the day. 
and he's no. a zap off into the future. I, I think this looks good. I'm just saying, I maybe you know, maybe I'm getting a, ahead of myself. You know, December third, this drops on Disney Plus. I hope it's better than Acolyte. Acolyte had some moments, but overall, they just shit the bed a lot recently on that. So they're trying. There's, I don't think they'll be picked up for the season. They're, they're, right? they're, they're trying. They're trying. They're trying. Yes. They're trying something different. Which thing goes a long way. It goes a long way. Gr, what do you think? You think this will break this mold and make Star Wars come back to being the the legendary franchise it was before? People be lying up to see this, breaking new numbers on Disney Plus, or you think the fan base is already so pissed off they won't check this out? No, I think people will check it out. It's got, it looks it looks like it could be something good. Is it going to break the bank and make? No, it, but it'll make us forget Acolyte. So, you know, <laughs> is this something that you would check well, out? Though, Gio? Would you watch this? I already forgot it. Oh, one more time. Oh, <laughs> boy. But GR, would you check this out? Like Goonies and space. You see Goonies before? Oh God. I had to, I had, a, I had children. Remember? <laughs> That's true. You had to see Goonies, but do you think this will be something that people will be gravitating to at all? I think some people will want to see it, I mean, especially the Star Wars fans. Then they're, they're gonna to want to see what the hell's going on. Did you like the trailer? Yeah, it was cute. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah, it's cute. cute. Cute, cute stuff. Cute I don't cute's the best cute thing. What that, we need, right? You I know. know I don't like, that's what Disney wants well, to hear is cute. You, got kids involved, yeah. you have to have cute. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, true. is this cute enough for you to check it out on day one, <laughs> or you think the cuteness will not conquer your thirst for more Star Wars? You totally remind. I was trying to think of what my comment was, Brian, but your cuteness comment brought brought it back out, which is that uh, Star Wars has done this before, Brian. They did an Ewok movie number one, and they did an Ewok movie number two, and that's not even counting Ewok movie num prequel, which is actually Star Wars movie number three. So uh, it feels it feels really strange for me to watch this uh, yeah. this trailer um, because. It kind of feels like, oh, so we're just at the point like where Star Trek shows and movies are so common now that we'll just be like, eh, we'll we'll do do a family one, do a do a rated R one, do it like whatever. Like cause this this is like we were talking about earlier. This is Disney trying to eat up the whole market. Thank you for the truffle shuffle, which is really <laughs> what I'm wondering about. The truffle shuffle probably has all kinds of different properties in space. The truffle is is has different gravitronic <laughs> composite moments of inertia uh, when, you know, it's not uh, it's it what? proximity <laughs> to a yeah. black hole. Just let, let him go. Yeah, Come let on. Go. I know it's relaxing over on... Uh, over on Thirsty Daddy Island. Uh, Thirsty Daddy, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there you are. Uh, they're just trying to emulate the whole very, very, very Spielbergian um, yeah. aesthetic. Yeah. Although I felt like Spielberg. Visuals quest- and questionable with like the straight up suburb in outer space. Like that's Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck was that? They're that's doing their that's... taxes, Sean. They're doing <laughs> no, their taxes. You asked not... for this. But have we we've never seen a, a, a no, Star Wars no, yeah. Star Wars before, it makes right? Zero sense. <laughs> I don't think so. There are parts parts of the galaxy in GR that are very stable that children are having. They've showed us they've showed us rural Star Wars universes Mm -hmm. and and, you know, the cantinas. There's a a million fucking cantinas out there on the I don't know, Tatooine. No, we gotta see a classroom. I mean, what what the parents yeah, the of classroom these, uh, looked weird, but like kids you know, are voting for the emperor because they appreciate the order that he's bringing to the galaxy. <laughs> I'm just yeah. sitting right uh, in there. Start them young, man. Hey, get them in there young. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I think this looks kind of it's kind of looks interesting. It's different. It's just different. You it's know, December, like, it, you know, not much kids. comes out around there anytime. Mm-hmm. So why the fuck yeah. not? You know, I'll watch it. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. Skeleton Crew's coming out. It took a long time to get this trailer. They've been talking about this for years, it feels like. And now we're finally at the full was trailer. This going to be, was this going to be like a pre-COVID thing that they were probably going to release in like 2020, 2021, starting to get oh, moving on? I don't on? know that. It, it, it could have been, man. It could have been. Then there's the strikes and everything else, you know what I mean, in this town. So uh, they, they announced this years ago. I mean, the same as like Acolyte was announced a long time ago, too. But that got it here before. And uh, I, I wish this would have came first. 
It should have got canceled. It probably should have. <laughs> but it's Skeleton Crew's coming, everybody. Yo, player, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live. And if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Because the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Because I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.